Today's ceremony marks the commencement of the second phase of the Kumasi Airport project, which involves the construction of a modern terminal building, extension of the runway, development of new aprons for aircraft parking and other ancillary services. Ghana Airports Company Limited is particularly excited that the dream of developing Kumasi Airport to international status is being realized. Our joy stems from the fact that Kumasi Airport is the second busiest airport after Kutuka International Airport, and this expansion will provide airlines operating in Ghana with the opportunity to develop additional routes that will be beneficial to passengers traveling from Kumasi to other parts of Africa and the world. We are aware that some airlines have expressed interest in operating the domestic routes and are currently undergoing the necessary processes to begin operations. This will provide the needed competition and offer the traveling public with improved connectivity and lower fares. On our part, we will ensure that we provide the needed facilities and services for a pleasant traveling experience in line with our mission of providing world-class facilities and services for the benefit of our stakeholders. We look forward to developing an airport city as part of the master plan for Kumasi Airport. GACL has already registered the airport city name as a trademark, and it is our objective to develop this trademark into a major brand in the Ghanaian real estate industry. The Aviation Ministry, Mr. President, has strategized towards the attainment of attractive infrastructure, as well as the establishment of an institutional policy framework to enhance safety and security of air travel. We have, since last year, been discussing with the airlines operating in the country to consider making the necessary arrangements for flight tickets to originate from Kumase so that passengers will transit in Accra. Thus, tickets will read Kumase, Accra, Dubai, Kumase, Accra, Paris, Kumase, Accra, Abidjan, or Kumase, Accra, Abuja. Mr. President, we are also in talks with local investors and entrepreneurs to be encouraged to set up strong airlines to make use of the aviation infrastructure and the nation's route rights to bring in investment and boost tourism. I'm really happy to join you here today to cut the sword for the commencement of the second phase of the Kumasi Airport project. It is a seminal moment in the growth and development of this vibrant historic city, or Sekru, and I commend the hard-working and dynamic Minister for Aviation, Honorable Cecilia Abnadapa, for making today's event a reality. I'm also grateful and very glad at the presence of the Asante Hine, Otofo Osei Tutu II, and his entourage at this important ceremony. It is good to have the mighty landlord here with us. Otofo, ladies and gentlemen, the expansion of this airport is a critical part of government's vision to expand the frontiers of the aviation industry in the country and to realize the dream of making Ghana an aviation hub in West Africa. It is widely acknowledged that Kumasi is not only Ghana's second largest city, but also a major and strategic business destination in West Africa. The present state of this airport does not befit such a status. The expansion will thus give Kumasi the much needed impetus to reinforce its position as an important commercial and transformation center in Ghana and in West Africa. 
The second phase of the Kumasi Airport project, estimated at the cost of 66 million 350,000 euros, is expected to be completed in 24 months. It will encompass the following elements. Extension of the current length of the runway by 390 meters, i.e. from 1,981 meters to 2,300 meters. Construction of a new terminal building with a capacity to handle 1 million passengers per year. Construction of an apron area and related taxiway and undertaking of ancillary works. Funding for this project has been secured and so there should be no excuse for any delays by contractors to generate cost overruns. Delivery of the project on schedule should be the watchword of the contractor. With widespread youth unemployment being the greatest threat to our democracy and the stability of our nation, the implementation of this project will undoubtedly create a sizable number of jobs for masons, welders, plumbers, steel benders, painters, electricians, tilers, carpenters, and other workers. A total of some 1,200 direct and indirect jobs will be created by this expansion. Two, four, ladies and gentlemen, the completion of this project will form part of the multimodal transportation system being embarked upon by government, comprising air, marine, railways, and road transportation. The project will stimulate the growth of our country's industrial and agricultural sectors and boost the tourism potential of Ashanti. In addition to expected growth in domestic air travel, the completion of the project will ensure that the Kumasi Airport will serve as one of the key spokes of the Accra Kutika International Airport, which should, as a result, witness significant expansion of traffic in domestic and regional routes. Government remains committed to the development of the domestic aviation industry. The removal of the 17.5% value added tax on domestic air airfares last year is ample evidence of our determination to facilitate the growth of the industry. Indeed, the Ministry of Aviation, under the strong leadership of Cecilia Dapa, has over the course of the last year been engaging potential investors, domestic and foreign, to partner with government to establish a national carrier. I'm reliably informed that the process should be complete by the end of the year. Indeed, other projects in the pipeline including include the commencement of the second phase of Tamale Airport and the rehabilitation of Sunyani Airport. The Ho and Wa airports have now been completed and will soon become operational. Let me, in conclusion, touch on an important matter. That is the widespread encroachment on airport lands. This phenomenon threatens the future expansion of our airports in the country. It must be stopped. The operators and regulators of our airports, as well as the Lands Commission and the traditional authorities, need to ensure that lands belonging to our airports are managed properly and duly protected not only for future projects of expansion, but also to safeguard lives 
and property. Otufo, I'm delighted once again at your presence here, and I assure you that this project is a sign of greater things to come for Asante Mai and indeed for the whole nation. Ghana government's commitment to the total development of Ghana is absolute. I'm very hopeful that by the grace of God, we are on the threshold of something remarkable in Ghana. And I expect that all of us gathered here will be present again here in 24 months, God willing, for the commissioning of this project. May God bless us all in our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong.